Today's game is brought to you in HD by EA Sports and Madden NFL 11. Happy to have you alongside to what should be a fantastic football showcase. Who do you see as the key players for this matchup, Chris? Well, Gus, I've got my eyes on the two quarterbacks in this one. I had a chance to talk to both of these guys, obviously guys that have experience in this situation. They've been here before, and yet it's always so interesting. You can see a different look in their eyes when they're warming up. You know that they know the significance of these matchups, and it just adds another level of excitement to the football game. When you're talking about this kind of talent on the field, this should be a really good one. I know you're excited. I'm excited. Let's get it going. Interesting, Chris. Great storyline here today, and we'll follow that storyline as this game moves on. steps and then deliver the ball to your wide receiver once he cuts to the inside on his medium route. He passes it. Finnegan bats the ball down.
Today's game is brought to you in HD by EA Sports and Madden NFL 11. Happy to have you alongside to what should be a fantastic football showcase. Who do you see as the key players for this matchup, Chris? Well, Gus, I've got my eyes on the two quarterbacks in this one. I had a chance to talk to both of these guys, obviously guys that have experience in this situation. They've been here before, and yet it's always so interesting. You can see a different look in their eyes when they're warming up. You know that they know the significance of these matchups, and it just adds another level of excitement to the football game. When you're talking about this kind of talent on the field, this should be a really good one. I know you're excited. I'm excited. Let's get it going. Interesting, Chris. Great storyline here today, and we'll follow that storyline as this game moves on. mistake if they try to go deep over the middle here but there is going to be some room along the sidelines grant gets the call you know listen i would never want to block a defensive lineman so you know i've seen these guys i know these guys they're big and they're nasty but at least from an offensive standpoint you have to try to get in the way I don't want us getting fooled on this play. If the quarterback goes to hand it off, watch him close and make sure he isn't running play action. Keep your eyes on that ball. Short throw to the right. He's tackled at the 31. And that's an area where he excels. He works his way through his progressions quickly and doesn't hesitate when he sees a receiver break free in coverage. but the key here is to hurry the quarterback and force him to make a bad throw. Looks like the offense is a little excited down there. Offense. Still third down. And we'll replay third down. Third down is tough enough in the NFL, but when you start adding yardage to it, boy, it gets even tougher. Guys, this is a great time to send the blitz. If they get the pass off, don't let the receiver make it to the sticks. Has a man to his right. Little flip. Patience for a wide receiver is just so key. He's able to manipulate that defense, set him up one play, come back with the exact same look, and break off of it the next. Beautifully run. stops and we'll have another chance to end the drive on third down. Grant takes it right side. Brian Cushing was there to bring him down. He's going to be tackled for a loss. if they run the draw. Goes through his progression. 
He's brought down at the 49-yard line. Ben Chong is really feeling it right now. He's got the hot hand, and you know normally he's not a guy that's going to hit a bunch of passes in a row, but he's hot right now. Brought down behind the line. Hey, baby, this ain't good enough. Yeah, sometimes you just have to admit defeat on a play as a running back and just try and get that thing back to the line of scrimmage. A pickup of about seven. And now it's third down. for a short throw. Keith Miller was the intended receiver. Anytime you give up that quick pressure like that, very seldom are those passes completed. It bounces out of bounds at the 23. All right, here you'll take five steps, then deliver the ball to your wide receiver once he cuts to the inside on his medium route. Surveys the field. Right through his hands. He almost had the pick. That incompletion will bring up second down. Avoids a sack by getting it off as he's hit. Good pressure that time, and they forced the bad throw. Not much he could have done with the pocket collapsing like that. He gets off the throw. Well, when you have a talented running back like this, you always have to account for him. That time, a nice play-action pass opened it up down the field. Throws the deep pass. Misses the receiver, and it's incomplete. And they can't complete the first down pass attempt. Second down, coming up. Here's the throw. Wes Welker was the intended receiver on the play. to go deep with it with the over-the-shoulder catch all right we're down in the red zone now let's try play action and see if we can score from here gets the pass off Touchdown, Cincinnati! Hootay! The Bengals get the first touchdown of the game. Just a great route that time. No way that he wasn't going to catch that football and score with that one. That was beautiful. Extra point is good. Cincinnati is up a score. This is a good opportunity to take a look at the drive summary presented by Verizon.
Taken from the three-yard line. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. A sack would be nice, but the key here is to hurry the quarterback and force him to make a bad throw. He's going to pass. Brian Cushing was there for the stop. Still a lot of time left, but at the end of one, the score, 7-0. to the back he hasn't had a good first half at all just can't seem to get through this defense all right listen up our safeties are covering the deep pass and we have a linebacker spying on the quarterback keep your eyes open and jump on that he's searching for a receiver good coverage and good push by the Bengals Let's go right after their lineman again and see if we can't bring up fourth and long. Searching for an open man. He bats the ball away. Anthony Gonzalez was his intended target. Gets to about the 37-yard line. Okay, this one is all about timing. You're out of the shotgun, so hit your receiver when he cuts on a slant. It's the tailback. He's dropped down at the 50. Peyton Hillis gets his first carry of the game and breaks it off for a first down. Here's the pass. He's wrestled down at the 29-yard line. Right now, the offense is winning the battle with formations. They're in a four-wide receiver set against this 34 defense. Defensively, now, they have to make a change, bring some extra coverage guys on the field. Still looking for an open man. No completion that time, and it'll bring up third down. If we can get around the corner on this sweep, we'll be in great shape. Just be patient. Let the blocks happen. Hillis off the left side. It is just so difficult for offensive lines to account for the safety. Typically, that's the one free runner that you have. And if you have a top flight safety back there that can come in and make those kinds of plays, it really helps your run defense. Oh, 
And that was not an easy kick, Chris. Yeah, it looked like a little adrenaline kicked in on that one, didn't it? Maybe even surprised him how far he hit that one. Let's take a look at the drive summary presented by Verizon. Here we go. He'll return it from the four-yard line. The offense really needs to get something going on this series. Maybe even just a field goal on the board is enough to get them jump-started. Looking for a man. Anthony Gonzalez was the intended receiver. You bring a little pressure, and it impacts quarterbacks, and we saw it there. Good coverage downfield. He's hit hard on the play. Okay, that sack put them in a hole. They're going to have to go to the air here if they want to get a first down on this play. <laughs> Whatever it may be. But there are some days when you can see a guy is just going to be unblockable, and this might be that day. Goes through his progression. Anthony Gonzalez was the intended receiver on the play. He takes it out and is tackled at the 48. The give to the tailback. And the tackle was made by Everett Brown. If we can get around the corner on this sweep, we'll be in great shape. Just be patient. Let the blocks happen. And he's tackled at the 46-yard line. Gets five on the run. And so it will be third down. Breaks through up the gut. He'll take it from the two. He brings it back to the 23. Okay, a sweet play here. Let's be patient, and then once you're around the edge, turn on the Jets. The stop was made by Lamar Woodley. And that's why you send all those guys to plug up the holes and... That time, there were no holes, really, and he was lucky to get anything on the play. They'll work the left side. 
Not much, maybe two yards on the carry. Very effective call that time by the defensive coordinator, bringing the outside linebacker a terrific way to give your defense some help in stopping the run. Uh-oh, watch out! The Bengals have been unstoppable when they go to the pass. You'd think the defense would make some kind of adjustment at halftime, but so far that just doesn't seem to be the case. and then boom, find the seam and run it as fast as you can. Hillis gets the call again. Six-yard gain on the run. And that'll bring up second down. All right, look for your receiver on this deep end. If he gets separation after the play action, throw a strike, let him make a play. He lets it go. Peyton Hillis was his intended target. Hammered as he lets it go. Just missed that time, bringing him down for a sack, but great pressure to force an incompletion. The offense calls a timeout. Branch will be the return man. He really did a nice job there, pinning them back inside their own 20. Anytime you can force an offense to start inside their own 20, it really gives you an edge. I can't believe they just let that happen. How do you give up a safety in that situation? Unbelievable. He's tackled at the 45. They were forced to punt on their last drive. off to the right side and I really like the discipline of this defense you never see these guys trying to do too much they control their gaps and that time there was nowhere to go calls it in the Bengals are continuing to find success throwing the ball. The pass protection was solid, and the defense with a very conservative approach playing off these receivers, allowing them to get open. He's dropped down at the 28-yard line. Four yards on that play. That brings up second down. Hillis off the right side. Really impressive play that time by this defensive line. It wasn't just one guy, but every guy up front just dominating their guy at the point of attack. Feeds it to the back. Well, that's what happens when defensively you get every gap covered. There is simply nowhere to go with the football. No chance for the running back that time. Somebody's got to pick up the slack, man. Uh -oh. 
Branch back deep to return. It bounces out of bounds at the 23. Why not go for the three points there, Chris? I have no clue. It just seemed to me they were definitely within field goal range. The only thing I can think of is their coach must not have faith in the kicker's ability to hit it from that distance. Or the kicker's scared, or he couldn't find his helmet. Or... Otherwise, that doesn't make a lot of sense. but the key here is to hurry the quarterback and force him to make a bad throw. And they're looking to close the gap. He's wrestled down at the two. And that throw will cost them possession. Well, you always see here that sometimes it's better to just take a sack, and clearly there it would have been. Of course, it's really easy for us to say we don't have those 300-pound guys chasing us. should be able to fight through to the end zone. On the ground, up the middle. And as a quarterback, you have to start to recognize that. You just can't allow that safety to keep sniffing around that eighth man in the box and not throw the football. Essentially, they're daring this offense to throw it, and they're not taking advantage. Yes, it's going to be six points. Point after is good. With about three minutes of play remaining here in the fourth quarter, the score, the Bengals, 19, the Ravens, nothing. Let's take a look at the drive summary, which is presented by Verizon. Finnegan fields the ball at the five. He gets to about the 27 and goes down. The key here is pressure. The short pass will be covered, so chase him out of the pocket and force him to make a throw on the run. He rolls out to the right. He can't come up with it. Incomplete pass. Guys, listen up. We got the receiver double covered here. When the quarterback takes that extra second to look for his secondary option. And, and uh, occasionally, they're fairly easy completions. Okay, I know we got them third and long, but don't get caught napping if they run the draw. There was nothing left after that hit. And he's tackled at the 39-yard line. Anthony Gonzalez with his third reception. He's searching for a receiver. The pass is broken up. What a play. All right, guys, listen up. We've accounted for anything down the middle of the field, but there still is room down the sidelines if one of their receivers breaks free. Flips it out short. Anthony Gonzalez now with four catches in the game. Gets it away. And the pass will fall incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Just terrific play by the defense. They followed the quarterback's eyes, made a quick jump on the ball, and were all over that one. Leaps. It's caught. Wow. Still looking for an open man. It's a pick. 
He tries to spin, but he's brought down. Let's make a big push with our offensive line. We should be able to get our halfback into their secondary on this play. They hand it off. He's tackled at the 42. Hillis gains around six yards on the run. Now is a good time to take a look at the Gatorade top performers. Running down the sideline. Nothing makes a defensive coordinator cringe more than seeing that kind of run because then it sets up the play action and there's almost no way to stop an offense if you can't stop the run and you have to deal with play action. He gets another carry. Hillis picks up five yards. All right, three-step drop, then zip it to your wide receiver who will be running a slant. They'll work the right side. They continue to get first downs by running the ball. Pretty methodical approach right now for this offense. Not only are they picking up first downs and grinding out yards, but they're eating up a lot of time on the clock. He's brought down at the 23-yard line. Cutler hands it off. They haven't been easy yards to pick up, but in a hard-fought game at the end of the day, especially in the second half, you start seeing running plays working a little bit better than maybe what they did in the first half when that defense was fresh and really flying around out there. It's up, and it's good. That's going to do it from Paul Brown Stadium. Highlights are next, so stay right there. Here's today's Swagger Player of the Game, presented by Old Spice Deodorant. One player rose above the rest today. Here's the Doritos crunch time play of the game. Our final score is the Bengals, 22, the Ravens, nothing.